Hello craft team, welcome back to my channel. I am Ibiwari, creative director of Ibis Fine Crafties. If you're a new subscriber, you're highly welcome. While you're here, please click on the subscribe button. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for coming back. I am so excited today we'll be making Tsunami Fascinator. So for that, we'll be needing some items, our scissors, our cinnamon, our matching thread and needle, our headband, or Alice headband. I'm using the color pink because the embellishment I'll be using for this fascinator is pink. So you can use any color of choice. Our tape and some pegs let's get started so for this cinnamon fascinator we'll be using eight inches unfold unfold eight inches so this and it, it was cut out from the bias because cinnamon is stretchy when it's cut out from the bias so for you to cut a cinnamon from the bias you have to have a triangle you have to have a triangle then you know that it's on a bias then you fold into when you have a triangle you fold into then take your measurements as you can see here if it's not up to eight inches you fold and get the the width you want once it's eight inches you cut out while it's on fold but remember before you can get a true bias it must be in a triangular form so you may unfold your cinnamon in a triangular form cut it out then fold into then cut out your eight inches so we'll be working with eight inches today after cutting out your eight inches because it's on the bias is stretchy so we'll just pull the folded end just stretch it out along the folded end please like share and comment on this video you can follow us on instagram at ibis fine crafties like us on facebook at ibis fine crafties for more adware tutorial and fashion accessory and tips I'm sure you will not want to miss all that. So kindly click on the subscribe button. So just stretch all through the folded end. Just give it a bit of stretch. This stretch adds a bit of softness to the cinnamon and give it that fine look. That's wavy look kind of. So what we'll do next is just to do a pleat on the other end that is not on the fold like the rough end we'll do a pleat on the rough end we'll pleat all through not tiny pleats just you can make it tiny pleats if you want but i don't want mine that's tiny so i'm just doing the pleats 
while doing the pleats you try and manipulate the other end of the cinnamon that is not rough the folded end while you're pleating the rough end you adjust you manipulate the folded end you manipulate the folded end this is just to your own preference how you want your will i call it ruffles or pleats how you want them to look like so it's basically your own your own vision what you want as you go along while you're plating you manipulate the other hand so do the same thing all through and this is why we need the peg because you can't just pleat all through and it won't unfold so while you pleat you use your peg and hold then you continue pleating use your peg and hold so it holds down your pleat before you can stitch down with your needle and use your needle to stitch down so that is the work of this uh, peg if you if you have any other thing other than this peg that is suitable for you you can make do with it but while doing this this was the easiest i could get that is, was close by so i had to use my peg it's serving multiple purpose right <laughs> So, I have to use my peg. So, we'll just do it all through. Wow, we are done. We are done making our pleats. So, please like, share, comment on this video. And click that subscribe button, please, for more headwear videos more tips more fashion accessories and can leave us a comment what you like to see on our channel we'll be glad to do it for you so that you see what you want so yeah after removing the peg you just to stitch down with your needle and thread put it in place put your pleat in place nothing more to it just use your needle and thread to stitch down and put because you've made your plates already so you just to stitch down with your needle and thread when you take out your pegs this fascinator is i so love it is so much i don't know but i just love doing tsunami working with tsunami and it comes out fine and maybe because it's not molded you know most persons see molded fascinator as a lot of work so if you don't want that extra work why not do this tsunami fascinator that you don't need to mold and it comes out so fine and unique maybe that's why i love it so much so we are done it's easy very easy no time consuming so i'm just still trying to stitch down in place be careful while you're doing this you know cinnamon is pre stiffened so it's a bit hard for you to pull your needle through so just be careful not to pierce yourself with your needle but I trust trust me the process is fun the process is fun so i love it so i'm almost done i'm almost done stitching down my pleats So I'll just secure my trade. Do a few notes and secure my trade. That will be all for this. We are done.
Isn't this looking lovely already? Now comes the fun part. The, now comes the fun part. The design part. With the design, you can do it any way you want. But I'll just go ahead and attach my Alice band to it first. Just stitch down my Alice band. That way, any design I'm using will cover up where I stitched the Ali and the fascinator to the Alice band. I'm done. I've stitched it. I've stitched my Alice band to my fascinator. Then comes the fun part. Yay! So yeah, you just have to use your imaginations. Any embellishments you want, feathers, leather whatever you want you can apply whatever you want you can apply to to this fascinator how you want so i'll be using this um embellishment feather embellishment i'll be holding it with uhu glue i'll just apply uhu to the feather and apply a little on the fascinator also After applying, I'll leave it for just few seconds to minutes for it to dry dry a bit. When you allow it that way, it holds better than just placing it immediately. You apply your USU gum, so it's dry a bit, dry a bit. So I'll just apply pressure on my feather. I apply pressure on my feather to hold. I just made a little adjustment to how I want the feather to be where I want the feather to be facing. So I'll just hold in place. I'll just hold in place till it's firm. So please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel for more headwear tips, fashion accessory, DIYs, more Edward tutorials please like comment share click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when next i upload a new video please like i always say be creative see you next in our new upload thanks and bye y'all